What's up guys, welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we're picking up on the 07 K swap build, my 86 944 race car. We are gonna install the valve cover on the car. I finally got all the bits and pieces I need for it. We're gonna actually drop the engine in the car and then we're gonna test fit this 3D printed intake manifold. Before we get into all that stuff, I do want to show you guys that I completely rebuilt the front suspension on this thing. We've got poly front bushings, 968 rear caster blocks, new tie rod ends, Ren Bay ball joints, and this is a Weltmeister sway bar. I did all that partially because the car just needed it and also because there's someone that a lot of you guys may know that will potentially be driving the car in September and, well, I didn't want to kill him because my ball joints were shot. And we're gonna go ahead and mount the valve cover itself. The interesting thing with this valve cover, this is an aftermarket uh, full CNC build aluminum piece. It comes with all of these O-rings for uh, where your coils go through, but it does not come with a full outer O-ring. The manufacturer actually suggests that you use the Audi green sealant, which is what I would suggest you do, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this Loctite 574. Uh, this is what they use to put Porsche flat six case halves together. This is what I used on the 944 uh, original engine build to seal up the balance shaft covers, etc. It's really good stuff and it's about a third of the price. I put a little bit on the O-rings to hold them in place and then I went and did a perimeter uh, basically in the o-ring groove on the outside. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff I probably went a little more ham fisted than I needed to but I don't want it to leak using a 5 mil allen wrench or bit run the bolts down Lastly we install the breather box which has a dash 10 ORB outlet so you can run it to a catch can this has an o-ring on the bottom So no need for sealant Looks pretty Pretty decent if you ask me. I also want to install my coils just to keep any debris out of the spark plug hole And it honestly took us a while to figure out but because the valve cover is for an 07k and we have to use 1.8t coils in order to fit under the stock 944 hood without modifications we actually have to take the boot off of our factory 07k coils that come with the engine and we need to install them onto the 18T coils and we need to trim. Basically, there's a hard plastic piece on the coil and we're trimming to that spot, which is also basically right at the bottom of these. And then you get a perfect seal, you get the exact height it needs to be and everything else. So it's a little bit of a, an oddball deal, but it works and that's what matters. We have one more thing we need to do before we can put the car or put the engine in the car and test fit the intake manifold. The intake manifold interferes with the top portion of this front accessory drive bracket, which is no longer used. So I need to trim this off. And I haven't quite determined what the best plan of attack is for that. Beer break. Before you guys freak out and call me a hack, this is coming back off and making a trip to the belt sander to get all finished off. So I don't want to hear it yet. It took four Sawzall blades to get to this point. This metal is no joke. I mean, it's just aluminum, but it's serious. This at least gives us the clearance we need to test fit the intake. Obviously, I'm gonna have to chop the rest of this off, and then I'm gonna take it to the belt sander and finish level all of this. Uh, if I were you, I would very much try to find and use a bandsaw. With all that preparation work done, it's finally time to stab the engine in the car, and then we get to test fit that intake manifold. Also, this is one of those rare occasions where we get to see the unicorn, Alan, in action. Like a glove. Okay. And there we have it, people. The first time the 07K is sitting in my chassis. It looks damn good if I do say so myself, especially with the Gallardo header. But now, we gotta see if the intake fits. Here's the intake. Uh, we don't have the full cast aluminum piece yet, so we actually went and had a 
3D printed intake made. This was actually supposed to be capable of being used on the dyno for my car to get the base tune done. Unfortunately, I don't know that that's gonna be possible. We're gonna have to do some sealing around some areas because this had to be printed in five different sections. But regardless, we're gonna be able to see what it looks like on the engine. And you'll notice it uses the factory gaskets around the intake runners. Right now we've got a uh, throttle body bolted up from a VR6, which is gonna be the standard cable throttle body for that. It's got provisions for all your different vacuum stuff on the bottom, etc. Stock fuel rail, stock injectors, everything. So let's see what it looks like in the chassis. All right, Alan, you wanna do the honors? Man, that looks nice in there. Fits perfectly with the factory brake booster. Just looks like it was meant to be. Between the intake, the Gallardo header, the low profile valve cover, everything's just turned out really nice. So that's that, a lot of progress today. Still a lot of work to go. I think I told you guys last time that the next time you saw this, we would be permanently installing the engine in the car. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. We didn't quite get the parts needed to uh, finalize the upper oil pan for this video. You'll see that. We'll get to permanently install this thing. We're gonna take the car to Performance Electronics for them to start finalizing all of the swap harness stuff. We're gonna figure out the fuel lines, the coolant lines. We're gonna get this thing on the dyno. Pretty exciting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.